So today we are in Humboldt, Saskatchewan, and we are at Good Neighbor Thrift Store. And we're gonna go in and see if I can find any vintage items to resell in my Etsy shop, Fifth Avenue Vintage Co., or keep for myself. So let's go on in and check it out. Easter stuff I gotta have here. Getting a little late, anyways. Got a basket. That's quite the mirror. Twisty thing. It's not very good shape though, there. I wonder if it has a light. <laughs> A uh, Lady yeah, Kenmore. How much is it? Two dollars. Hmm. Do I need a Lady Kenmore mirror that probably lights up? For two dollars? Sure. Here is a regal tea kettle, coffee pot, percolator. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can get it open. Is there some magic trick to this? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a coffee percolator. in pretty good condition. I don't know if it works. <laughs> I'm assuming it works. It's out here, but probably shouldn't assume anything. It's only five dollars. This light. Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm going to put it in my basket and think about it. I like the starburst on it. There's a whole whack load of cookie presses here, vintage ones, five dollars for these ones, this one's four. Look at her, how happy she is. Electric food gun, four dollars. I don't know if I need any of those right now. It's a spaghetti maker. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. I might look at this one. Looks like it's kind of fun. It's electric. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Maybe. That's a maybe. Donut maker. Some dinnerware. Lots of coffee cups. Some Pyrex ones, but I don't need any of those. Tea cups. And salt and pepper shakers. Some cows. Creamer and sugar bowls. Fine porcelain by FKD. It's pretty. So they're not marked. Glassware. They always have nice glassware here, but do I really need any? <laughs> Probably not. I've got a whole cupboard full of it. These are really pretty though. But I haven't sold too many of that color, even though I have a few sets of them. How much are glasses? Um, 
I don't see a price here. Glasses. Stemware, small 50 cents. Well, we'll see. We'll see, I might come back for them. Probably not, but I have a small one of these. Just a little short one. It's a pretty glass. I'll grab that one. Barbecue. Bird. I'm going to check out the opposite side of the store here. Three pieces for five dollars. Where's the other two? Yeah, for sure. These ones? I don't know. That's really pretty. It's Italian, I think. Made in, no, uh, not Italy, Poland. Made in Poland, it's missing the stopper. And I don't see what three pieces it is. This? No. Hmm. Some carnival wear. I think this has been here for a while. I'm going to find out what three pieces this goes with. Well, I got that piece for $2 because somebody must have bought the other pieces that went with it. 12 for that. And this is pretty. 12 for that. A little bit too much, I think. $6. Type of glass is that Hoosier glass? No, Brody. Oh, Christmas. Oh, those are nice. Little miniature Christmas tree ornaments. I had to get a second basket already. Oh, let's see what's over here. There's a loud radio, so. I'm going to have to be really quick and see if there's any Easter stuff over here, but I'm not seeing anything. Those are kind of cute. Are those older? I don't know. They've got little see-through eggs inside of them. Those are pretty cute. All right, I'm going to head upstairs and see if there's anything up here. Little wall plaques. Those are cute. Two dollars each. It's a little bit dark up here. A little sparse up here too. A rose tin, not really the the rose tin type I collect. No amazing lamps today. Some baskets. bamboo holder but it's pretty broken just 
just found a green starburst garbage can. <laughs> Not the most desirable color, but it's got a starburst on it, so pick it up for two dollars. Very 1970s, 60s, 70s decor. Just over having a look through their Christmas section and I found these vintage Christmas ornaments. Peach and kind of a lustery white color. Two dollars, so I'm gonna grab these. I didn't really see too much else here, I don't think. already found me the best ones the little miniature mercury ones and it's dark over here too all right now I'm gonna head back downstairs and see what I missed lots of nice nativity sets $30 for that whole set looks like it's complete that's really nice actually it's made in China. If it was made in Italy, I would probably grab that. All right, I'm gonna head downstairs. Just spotted this Bless Our Home plaque for $2. I'm gonna grab this as well. I've already filled one basket and I'm already filling a second. I'm going to have to get a third basket. We'll see if I find anything else here. Green glass pear. Nothing too special about that piece though. Oh, this little one's cute. It looks like it's missing a lid though. down here. That's Italian. A big chip on it. Is that a spoon rest? I think that is missing something. The Good Luck Kitchen. Oh, it's pretty pretty dirty on the back there. Although, it's a kitchen witch. Mm, I should probably get that for 50 cents. Some vases. Chipped. Mm, 07. Not vintage. Modern. There's a pair of them. I'm just going to have a look through the linens. There's some of these pillowcases. These look like vintage. Those look nice. I'm going to have a better look at them, make sure they're not stained. I seen another pair here as well. Flower sack. What's a flower sack? Hmm. I'll have a look through that. Better look at that. And this might be vintage. Not that one. Put that one back. Those I think are pillowcases as well. I'm gonna have a closer look at those, but if they're in good condition, I will probably grab them. Oh, here's another set. Those are pretty. Plain. All right, well, I think I'm gonna have to put my camera down and just have a closer look, but I will show you what I find. All right, I've got 
three sets here. These were all in really nice condition, really nice embroidery on them. This set is beautiful. It's a really nice cotton material with a really pretty embroidered design on it. So I've got four sets of pillowcases. Just going through their sleepwear and I found this vintage Mr. Noah <laughs> terry cloth beach cover. I think you would use that for the beach. It's kind of cute, just basic white, but that's a perfect beach cover up. I don't know how much it is going to be. Probably just, I'm going to guess $4 is my guess. So I'm going to grab that. My basket is filling up. So this is everything that I got from Good Neighbor Thrift Store. And I'll start off with this piece. It was $2.00. And it is a decanter. It would have had a stopper. Fortunately, the stopper is missing. It was made in Poland. And there was supposed to be three pieces to this. And I believe that two of the pieces were small glasses. Because I actually have two glasses that have this exact base that will go with this perfect. So... <laughs> That makes me sad because if the glasses were there, it would have been a complete set with four glasses and I would just have to find a stopper. And I haven't done any research, but I could possibly find a stopper online. Maybe someone's just got a stopper that would work for this decanter. So I'm gonna hold on to it. I'm gonna put it with the other two glasses that I have that go with this and maybe find a stopper and sell it as a set. She sold it to me for $2, so how could I leave it behind for $2? It's a beautiful piece. So that is unfortunate, but I only paid $2 for it, so not a super big deal. Then I grabbed this, the Good Luck Kitchen Witch. I grabbed that for 50 cents. Pretty dirty on the back. I'm gonna see if I can maybe clean that up with some barkeeper's friend. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not sticky or anything. It's just kind of looks, it looks a little nasty. So I don't know what I'm gonna list it for once I get it cleaned up. I haven't done any research on any of these pieces because we came right out to our country home and I just decided to do a haul right out here. So I still have to figure out what I'm gonna list that for. I grabbed a couple of Christmas ornaments. Well. Wendell grabbed these Christmas tree ornaments for a dollar. They're the little miniature ornaments. Looks like they're all there in the original package, so that was a good find for a dollar. They are the mercury glass ornaments. And then I found this bag, and it was, I believe it was $2 for eight ornaments. And these aren't super old. I would say 19 maybe 70s, they kind of look like 1970s or 80s. Just by the top here, if it was silver metal and said Germany on them, I would think they were a little bit older, but I would say 1970s or 80s. But they are, are they plastic? Maybe they are just plastic. I don't know, they're really nice though, really nice peach and luster Christmas ornaments. So I got eight of those for $2. And I'm just gonna set them on the table. And I got, I think, four sets of pillowcases. Yeah, four sets. And they're all in really nice condition. I didn't see any staining on them or anything. The seams are off a little bit, so they are made from scratch, a couple of them. I think these ones are, these ones definitely are. These said that they were flower sack and they are absolutely beautiful. They're really heavy cotton. So I am thinking that this is possibly flower sack made from a flower sack. I don't know for sure, but 
really pretty. Would that be called tatting? Embroidery. So I'm going to list these ones in my Etsy shop and I don't know exactly what I'm going to list them for because they are flower sack and this fancy edging on them, pretty embroidery. They're probably going to be a little bit higher priced. I'm thinking about $36 to $38. These ones I might just keep for myself. If they are a little bit crudely done, I might just keep them for myself. And these ones, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually list either of those. I don't know for sure, we'll see. <laughs> By the time this video goes out, they might be listed. If they're listed, then they're for sale. And then these ones, I think these ones are just a manufactured set, I believe. And I think I paid $4 each for them. Let's see if they oh yeah, this one has a tag. So they are manufactured. Let's see if I can find out. Oh, there's made in China, 100% cotton. Yeah, 100% cotton though, really nice quality. And I would say 19, probably 80s, 90s maybe. So we'll see if I'm going to list those. I'm definitely going to list these ones, though, for sure. Those will be listed in my Etsy shop. And I found this garbage can. <laughs> and I bought it because of the Starburst. I have actually a couple of these that I use for myself. One in my bathroom and one in my laundry room. So I grabbed this one to sell. I don't know if I'm going to sell it online or just locally. I might try selling it online. But I figured because it has the Starburst... It would sell well and I will clean it up and sterilize it and everything before I list it. And I found this terry cloth bathrobe. It is Mr. Noah. I don't know why it's Mr. Noah because I'm pretty sure this is for a woman. But I'm pretty sure it is a bath or not a well, I mean it could be a bathrobe, but I think it's more of a a bathing suit cover. It's got an elastic band in here. So I will probably keep that for myself to use in the summer to throw over my bathing suit when we go to the beach or the hot springs. I got these wall plaques. This one is the Mother Mary and Jesus with the Sacred Heart. They were two dollars each and these ones were made in Italy. Really nice little wall plaques. And I'll probably list those together in my Etsy shop. And then this one, God Bless Our Home, was $2 and it was made in Germany. Kind of hard to see, but that one was made in Germany. So I'll list those in my Etsy shop. And then this wasn't on the video or in the video. I just went through some of their hair things and I found this vintage goodie pick. And it's still all in its original packaging. The packaging is ripping, but I just thought that was really fun. I'm guessing that's 1960s or 70s, maybe. I don't know when they started making, when Goody started making hair products. I'm not sure, but I'd say 60s or 70s. And then I grabbed a couple of these vintage combs because they have sparkles in them. And I have a few combs vintage combs with sparkles in them so I thought I'll add these to them and sell them as a lot they're just fun sparkly vintage plastic combs I think one of them is a goodie like this one or maybe not I thought I saw one goodie on one of these but maybe not I was seeing things and I will sterilize those I used to be a hairdresser so I know how to sterilize combs this Wendell picked up. He purchased this. He saw it and he bought it for himself to use out here to drink his beer in. I'm glad he got that because I did like that glass. So that was everything that I got from Good Neighbor Thrift Store and my total was $12, oh, $23.30 I think. 
And that is everything for today. So thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>